morning, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful day. And I'm driving an Aston Martin V8 with a manual gearbox. This reminds me of the days where I used to cruise around Watford in my Audi R8, but this has got as good, if not a better soundtrack than my army trick system had. This has got a custom exhaust system. I don't really know the ins and outs of it. All I've been told by Dan is it has got a custom exhaust system. And today I'm headed into London, which I'm quite nervous about because I've not got that much fuel. And I can imagine this old block of an engine is not that great on fuel. It's a bit of a beast to manhandle. So it's gonna be a lot of fun heading into London. I've got a meeting before I meet up with the guys at Dub Customs, drop this car back, and then hopefully I'll be able to collect my C63 AMG pristine with no damage to the front bumper whatsoever, but also the D-Chrome, which is the all-important D-Chrome. And as I was editing my video with Adam yesterday, if you haven't seen that video, then I will leave a link in the description or it'll probably be one of the recommended videos. Nonetheless, he mentioned that he was tempted to get bronze wheels for his C63. And having heard those words come out of his mouth on his white M3, it's really made me think about maybe that is the color to paint my AMG wheels on my white car. How'd you put the window down here? Yeah. Made it to London, thank God. I have parked up and I'm an incredibly wonky ankle because I had to maneuver around that pillar and this car. So I'm not facing in the right direction. But as I was coming into the car park, the ticket attendant, parking attendant said that I've got a flat tire and I have not gone out to have a look at it. So I hope it's not that bad. The car was driving all right. It wasn't going from one side to the other. Um, but the last thing that I want is an hour or so drive back to Dub. Ooh, it's not great. Ah, it's, it's not great, but that's my angle. <laughs> that's pretty bad. But I'm in the parking space. I'm in the white lines. So it will just look bad from the front. <laughs> which I'm now going to show you <laughs> and I can promise you this is not how I park cars I had to maneuver it around this white bollard so for those that are going to comment and saying that's how your C63 got scraped because someone reversed out like that I hope it doesn't happen to this car but I don't think it is because well that's how I'm parked so let's go to my meeting let's leave the car in the safe hands of this car park and then head back to Dub Customs. I think that rear tire's fine actually. Living the dream out here guys. Dub Customs with the courtesy car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting some fuel in so that we're topping it up further than what we got it on. And put some air in. Hopefully we can make it home. Hey, there's the bleeper. Now when I knew that I was going to be convoying with Sam to Dub Customs, I was a little bit like, yeah, I've got the Aston Martin, kind of thinking that I could compete with his levels. This is a 12-year-old car compared to what is a brand new Porsche. These are two completely different sports cars from two completely different eras. And I really hope to have a bit of a hoon with him, but we're stuck in London coming out from King's Cross up to Dub that I have just slowly started to grow muscle in my left leg again because I'm having to do the clutch and having to do a manual gearbox. I haven't stalled it yet. The car has cut out once on me that could have been the stall, but it didn't judder and go boop, boop, boop. It literally just sort of went off and I thought that that was start, stop. I didn't realize that technology wasn't invented when this car came out. But Sam is in comfort, in style, and I hoped that I would be able to hold my own in this car on some nice country roads with the soundtrack, with the presence of this thing, but unfortunately, we're in traffic and it's just, yeah, not good. We have made it back to Dub Customs. My left leg is now twice the size of my right leg because I've got, I've got so much strength in there now from doing a clutch again. But we've got F1 Wax doing fairly normal car. It's a focus estate. 
So he does the supercars, does the normal stuff. Then we've got my car, which has had a lot of work done overnight. Sam's there, Sid's there, Danny's there. We've got a 675LT, GT3, Aston Martin Vanquisher, Focus RS, R8, the Jaguar, a load of Corvette behind me there, R8 there. It is all popping off, but let me show you my C63. We've got the black spoiler gone gloss black. The panel on the roof has finally gone gloss black to match the rest of the roof line. This has been stripped so they can wrap in all of the bits and pieces. Sean is down here doing the front end of my car, and as you can see, the scratches have gone. There has been completed to perfection better than showing with a ceramic lacquer coating over the new paint so that is the new front end on my c63 gloss black badges there and on the front check out the front grill originally i wanted the big mercedes badge in gloss black as well but having seen a couple of c63s that have been customized on instagram thanks to you guys for sending me them i actually kept the silver mercedes badge because i think it looks cooler it emphasizes with the silver amg over there and i think it's just got a really nice show but the uh, black pack is being added just before I can take it away. We've got side skirts in gloss black as well. The door handles have been gloss black. We've still got this bit to go, but this bit's been done here. We've got the side skirts down there in gloss black as well. So overall, I am so goddamn happy with this. I still love the silver wheels, but I do think they could be bronze. I think they could be bronze. I think it could look good, but look at this Focus RS. This is my favorite Focus RS that I have ever, ever seen from the front. Look at that. Sam. What's up? What do you think? Oh, what of the GT3, I think no, that blue is super... Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's mega. I've already seen it, of course, but I haven't seen it since it's been transformed with all the black bits. It's looking good. Looks silver different. wheels or black wheels? Silver wheels. Bronze wheels Everyone or does. silver wheels? No, the only, you know what color I would do? Like the platinum, not platinum, what's called you know, the gray, the dark gray. Oh, like anthracite gray. Yeah, yeah. that's the only thing that I would do. But I think they're great silver, but I would do anthracite. I wouldn't do black. Okay. Because look, black, black, yeah. black, yeah. black. And the design, the design on the AMG wheels is so nice. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? I think bronze though. Bronze? Mm. Yeah, with like the white car? With, with uh, like Tony's Pepermento. No, really? Yeah. Oh. So with a little bit of light, my AMG is ready. It is complete. The front number plate holder and number plate is still on because the P77WSX plate has not made it in time. Thank you kindly for moving the Aston Martin. Let's get a start up of it so you can hear it from the outside. Next up we have Stu in the i8 and he's in petrol mode. And then we have got my C63 that has been dechromed and looks so much better now that it has this gloss black bits everywhere. No more chrome apart from the exhaust, which is, no I don't think that's chrome, I think it's just silver. Polished wheels. Look at the roof. It's this gloss black panel here that makes all of the difference. <laughs> we have got there in the end after a little scuff that was down there that literally you cannot see now. It is incredible to see the transformation of this car over the last 24 hours. I'm blown away with the level of quality that is on the wrap, but also on that repair that lit ruined my day yesterday and I still felt gutted about it today as I was driving the Aston Martin. That was the silver lining in this whole situation. I got to experience that car, which was just incredible to have a manual gearbox and that awesome soundtrack. A little bit heavy on the steering, the clutch and the gearbox was just an experience. It's the best way to describe it, but it did remind me of just like a Mercy Largo, just an old car that it's got its own character. But now, go away, Sid. Go away. <laughs> but now, look, ah, 
I'm so glad that we kept the Mercedes badge silver that matches the AMG. It still gives it a mean aggressive look with the gloss black bit here. And then that panel down there makes a huge difference. The next thing to go is the number plate, which will change in due course. The wheels are still the same. We've got black badges here, D-chrome around the windows and on the door handles, this side skirt makes a world of difference down the side. It splits up the white, and now this car looks as aggressive as it was supposed to do from the factory. It doesn't look like an S-Class executive anymore. This looks like a C63, and look at that roof, baby. The roof looks so good now. And then at the back, we've got the little tiny black ducktail and the black Mercedes badge. So we are all good, we are finished. We have collected the car, finally. And it looks so good. And now I get to drive back. This weekend, I am moving in officially to the apartment. So this is gonna be sitting proudly on the drive. The next modifications to come to this car are the springs and spacers. So I'm gonna leave the stock wheels, but have it sit how it's supposed to sit. And there's gonna be a lot more information on why I am doing springs in that video when the modification happens, because I was so against suspension on my BMW M3, but for some reason, I decided that I was gonna do it to this car, but there is reasoning behind it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Dub Custom. It has been a pleasure to come here for the last 24 hours and drive that car, but have this car all fixed and ready to go. And I'm happy again. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments on what color you want to see the wheels, what color you want to see the car, because they are probably going to be the next modifications after the suspension. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but one thing you might know. Come on, các bạn đã theo dõi. Các bạn hãy bấm like comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha.